Business English Lesson Business English Vocabulary Advanced Level So for today, our lesson is belong to work, colleagues and routines. Let's get started with colleagues. Philip is my opposite number in the company's New York office. Opposite number here is has the same position or does the same job as me. We have a good working relationship. The way of communicating and working together. Friendly communication. And there is a lot of day-to-day -day collaboration. Working together to achieve shared goals. Having a counterpart, more formal equivalent of opposite number, who has the same position or does the same job as someone or me, like Philip, in another branch is a great support. Last month, we got a new boss who quickly established a good rapport with everyone. Communication or relationship. She likes us to take the initiative, make decisions without being told what to do. The company is very hierarchical. It means has a structure with important and less important people. There is a packing order for everything. A system where some people have the right to get benefits or promotions before others. I do a job share without a woman called Rose. Job share, an agreement where two people each share the same people or more than two people, which suits us as we each have childcare responsibilities. My office uses a hot desking system, a policy of sharing desk in an office so people sit at whichever desk is free on a particular day. So I sit in a different place every day. I socialize with my workmates. Colleagues, you are friendly with, especially in non-professional occupations. This is informal language. Outside of work. But we try not to talk shop on those occasions. Talk about work. This is informal language. Section B. During the day, different work patterns. I do fairly mundane tasks. Ordinary, but not interesting. Occasionally, I have to meet a deadline. Or they need someone to volunteer for something. Meet a deadline, have something finished by a fixed day or fixed time. Volunteer, offer to do something without being asked or told to do it and for free. Then the job is more rewarding and stimulating. Rewarding, making you feel satisfied that you have done something important or useful or done something very well. Stimulating. Motivating, encouraging new ideas or new thinking. Something I have a heavy workload, but at other times it can be quite light. Workload, amount of work I have to do. I start work at my machine at 7 o'clock when I'm on the day shift. The job's mechanical and repetitive. You don't have to think about what you are doing, mechanical and repetitive. The same thing is repeated every day. All I ever think about is knocking off at 3 o'clock. Finished work in formal language. The shift I have most is the night shift. I start at 10 and work till 6 in the morning. It's a bit monotonous, boring because it never changes. It's not a satisfying job. Doesn't make me feel pleased here. It's a negative, but positive here. Affirmative, satisfy, make me feel pleased. I feel I need something a bit more challenging that tests my ability or determination. I have a pretty glamorous job, very exciting, which everyone admires. I'm a pilot, but the hours are irregular and antisocial, do not enable one to have a normal social life. I'm not stuck behind a desk, sitting at a desk all day in formal language, but long-haul flights can be a bit mind-numbing, extremely boring. Most of the time, the plane just flies itself. We work to very 
tight schedules, very strict or severely limited timetables. But I shouldn't complain. I feel sorry for people who are stuck in a rut, stuck or trapped in a job they cannot escape from. They are obliged to do that for some reasons or who are in that end jobs with no prospects of promotion. And the last one, extract. I started off as a technician, person whose job involves practical work with scientific or electrical equipment. After retraining, I worked for a software company and I later went in with, formed a business partnership with a friend and we formed our own software company as a startup in 2009, start up a small business that has just started or launched. So now I'm self-employed. My husband is freelance, working freelance. He works for several different companies as and when they need work done, he's a computer programmer, someone who writes computer programs, IT. Here is some exercises we need to do. So, first one, we need to correct seven mistakes in this paragraph. Real workers, real stories. I'm a technician in a factory. So here is omitted one letter. I think I have a good working relationship with my colleagues. I try to establish a good rapport with them from the very beginning. The person I like most is my opposite number in our office in Parish. My boss likes me to make the initiative. Here, make, take the initiative. Generally, when I socialize with my workmates outside of work, we try not to talk we don't need about shop, but it's not easy and sometimes we have a good gossip about colleagues and events at work. The second task is we need to match the left and right hand columns to make pairs of sentences. First, we often work together. The option collaboration is a good thing. Second, the firm's rather hierarchical. Second option a. There are several levels of management. Third, Peter's my counterpart. E. Option. We do the same job, but he is based in Rome. Fourth, we work to a tight schedule. B. Option. Deadlines have to be met. Fifth, I don't think I will be promoted before her. F. Option. There is a strict parking order in the company. And six last one, Jazz and I work half and half. C option, it's a job share. This third task is we need to use words and phrases from the opposite page. You need to go back to complete these sentences. A good friend suggested we set up a small company together. So I went in with her and we formed a start up in 2012. I'm really tired. I've had a very heavy workload recently. I don't want an office job. I don't want to spend all day stuck behind a desk. I would have to feel trapped in my job and to be stuck in a rut. I work for different companies at different times as it suits me. I'm freelance. I used to work for someone else, but now I'm on my own boss. I'm self-employed. I stopped working in the Hamburger restaurant. It was such a dead end job. When I was working in the factory, all I could think of all day was the moment when I could knock off. Being a hospital nurse is a good job, but you can't go out much with friends. The hours are a bit antisocial or irregular. Two possible answers might be used. And the final one, I find hot tasking annoying because it means I don't have my own desk where I can keep things at work. And now we need to select adjectives from the box to describe the jobs below. You can use more than one for each job. Add other adjectives of your own. First one, assemble line worker in a car factory. Repetitive mechanical and challenging. Second, supermarket shelf staker. 
mundane, monotonous, and mind-numbing. Third, public relations officer in a multinational company, bright, challenging, and glamorous. Fourth, bodyguard to a celebrity, glamorous, stressful, and right. Fifth, surgeon, stressful, challenging, and rewarding. Sixth, lifeguard on a beach, stressful, monotonous, and glamorous. Seventh, receptions at a dentist, right, repetitive, monotonous. Eight, private detective, stressful, stimulating and challenging. Ninth, refuse collector in a city, repetitive, monotonous and mundane. And night, night, security guard, monotonous, challenging and stressful. That's the end for this lesson. And you can find this free PDF file on the Telegram. Thanks for watching.